this and I unboxed it yesterday, so here are those clips. <laughs> My face, please, cameraman. I mean, woman. <laughs> they got wet. Oh my gosh, we have to order an entirely new box. <laughs> Film this, cameraman. See it in there? Mm -hmm. Let's get a thumbnail. Me natting. You have to understand that feeling of like watching so many YouTube videos and like Instagram posts and stuff and then like it's like in your hands finally. <gasps> There's like smiley faces all over it. It's the cloud bank. But today I'm going to be doing my first impressions of Glossier. I mean, just look at how cute the packaging is. It is unreal. Look at these freaking stickers. Look at this freaking packaging. And look at that box. I did my first impressions of Milk Makeup and it went super well, so I wanted to do another one over Glossier because I feel like the brands are a little bit similar and they both want that kind of super natural no makeup makeup look. Let's just start trying stuff. I'm so excited. First up, of course, I'm going to try the Milk Jelly Conditioner. I mean, cleanser. I actually got three skincare products, so once we go the restroom I'm gonna try the cleanser and then the, m the m no okay she survived and then I'll put on the moisturizing moon mask look at this packaging all of it is just so cute <laughs> Oh my gosh, the packaging is literally just amazing. They have three serums, but I got this Super Bounce Hyaluronic Acid to ease and soften tight, rough skin, apply over clean face, and follow with a moisturizer. All right, let's go to the restroom and try these out. Okay, kids. Oh, there we go, folks. That took forever. It's so cooling. That was like insta-cool. <laughs> Okay, my skin feels super duper clean. It doesn't feel like as moisturized as I thought it would feel. I definitely feel really clean. All right, now I'm going to put on the moon mask. Ooh, you can tell this is gonna be good. All right, 20 minutes. I will be back. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and it basically just looks like there's nothing on my skin. So I'm gonna rinse it off. Ooh, I feel pretty moisturized. I don't know, it's hard to give your first impressions on these types of things. So we're gonna use this Hyra... Hyaluronic acid. I don't know. A lot of people said that everyone should own a hyalon hy hyaluronic acid. I don't really know what it is. Okay. Oh, it's not like super liquidy. I don't really know what hyaluronic acid is, but a lot of beauty gurus told me I should own one. Ooh, I like that. How does my skin look? Okay, so far these three skincare products were a thumbs up for me so far. I feel like you have to use them over a period of time, but first impressions I feel super moisturized and just like super glowy and dewy, so so far I like it a lot. <sighs> Lastly, to like finish off the skincare, I'm going to try out their lip balm. Oh yeah, they're called balm.com. So. Look at how cute this freaking packaging is. I am obsessed with lip balms, so hopefully this is good. Oh, there we go. I love the smell of rose. It's so good. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. But you know, thick is never a bad thing, so. <laughs> I really like that consistency. I love how thick it is. One more skincare product. They sent me a sample of their priming moisturizer, which by the way, none of this is sponsored. I bought all this on my own, which was very sad for my bank account. I've heard kind of just like eh reviews on their priming moisturizer, so I didn't buy it, but we will use this. Oh, it's super thin. Well, that's really, really, really moisturizing. <laughs> Let's actually start in with the makeup. I didn't get their skin tint just because, I don't know, I feel like no one really likes them. Um, people were just like, I don't know, it's like not really doing anything, it's like super light coverage, so I just kind of passed on it, but I did buy the stretch concealer, which is funny because the Milk Makeup one is called the Flex Concealer, so I think they're like basically the same idea. Let's see if it'll cover those dark circles. I feel like it's really matching me pretty well right now, and I really like the consistency as well. It's really covering up those veins on my eyelids super well. Very light though, <laughs> like super light coverage, which is the foundation of this entire brand. I kinda like it because it just really evening out my skin tone and it doesn't really cake up or anything. My skin feels so moisturized right now. Even this concealer is moisturizing. But it really is just like to even out the skin tone, I guess, but I do have some pimples right here, so let's see if it can cover them. They're like pretty red and out there still, so. You can definitely still see it. I think this concealer really is just for like evening out skin tones. Coverage-wise, it is super duper light. Like, I would probably use my Milk Makeup Flex Concealer to cover up a pimple, not this one, but I really like this one for under eyes because it's really 
moisturizing and just kind of like evens out the skin tone which is exactly what I want. So for under eyes it's a big thumbs up but if you want to get it for like acne don't do that because it's just not going to cover up much. Okay and they actually do have a powder. It's called the Wowder actually. It's just like a little hole and it, a little powder comes out. Oh shoot <laughs> that's not a little powder that's so much. Okay. Beauty Guru, set these under eyes. Um, it's actually a little dark, I feel like. Which I don't mind, because it's about to be summer anyway. I really like that. I really like the skin color of it. I like powders that are a little bit darker than my skin tone, so that is just perfect. Oh yeah, Um, right after I purchased all these things, they came out with their lid stars, which are like these creamy eyeshadow type things, and I'm so mad that I didn't get to try those, because they came out like right after I placed my order. Next, I'm going to try out the cloud paints, just because these are like what I feel like they got popular from, because they're blush that look like paint, puff, and dust. I've seen a lot of girls who have really fair tones use dusk as a bronzer or like kind of contour just because they don't actually have a bronzer, I don't believe. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. I feel like I have to smile for this to work. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's so subtle. This kind of color is super great if you have a fair skin tone because it really just looks like your natural blush, which I blush all the time from embarrassment. So this is just great. It can look like that all the time. That's so cute. You. I just love that. I could actually cry. When I was unboxing it, I like was actually crying basically. I'm gonna try and use Dusk as like a little contour. Oh, that does kind of look like a contour kind of. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. Ooh, it got right in that crease. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I love Glossier. That actually does look like a contour, but like for really, really, really light skin. Like if you have any sort of a tan, you probably won't be able to see this or you can use it as a blush. Should I contour my nose like a real beauty guru would? Okay, I honestly, I'm really bad at contouring my nose. I like can't keep it on the outer edges. Let's see, like I already crapped that up. Crapped that up? Who says, who uses that word like that? Yeah, see, I, I don't know how to contour. Let's just forget that ever happened. Next, I have the Halo Scope, the Dew Effect Highlighter. Now, this little guy, this is what he looks like on the inside. It has that little, I don't really know what that is or what effect that's supposed to have, but the thing that I love about these stick highlighters is like you barely have to blend them in because they're just kind of, they kind of just glide on and you just pat it twice and it's on there. Oh, I like that. I kind of love that look. I'm like living for it, you know? Right, sisters? Right, fam bams? James Charles calls just <laughs> James Charles knows how to speak English. Haley fam does not. James Charles calls you guys sisters, so what do I call you guys? Like fam bams or something? I, I don't know. Let's see if it does that great hot nose highlighter that I love so much. Oh yeah, just load it up on the nose. I love Love it on the nose. Ooh, yeah. Highlighter is an A plus look at that. And lastly, I have the Boy Brow Grooming Pomade. As you can see, my eyebrows are black and thick and dark, so you can get these in a tinted type thing. This is like one of their best sellers, but mine is in the clear one, which actually isn't really clear. It's like white gel, so I'm really interested to see how this turns out. Oh, I love the brush. Let's see if we can make my eyebrows look wispy. You know, that like popular thing that all the people do. Oh, geez. I don't like the wispy look. All Right, put them back down. All right, there's one eyebrow and there's the other. I feel like this one looks more filled in even though it's not. How strange. I feel like it just kind of like puts in some filler, you know? Flex on me. My neighbor has the loudest car in the world and loud cars are so freaking annoying. They look so in place, wow. So that's actually all the things I bought. I didn't really buy enough for like a full, full face of makeup. It was mostly like skincare and just like the base products, but Overall, this is definitely a no makeup makeup look because it doesn't really, I feel like you wouldn't really be able to tell that I'm wearing makeup other than like maybe you can tell I'm wearing highlight. Overall, this brand is just gonna get a 100 million stars from me just because of the packaging alone. Other than that, if you're like 10 years old, like I was when my makeup passion started, definitely buy these things because it will look like you're not wearing makeup and you can just trick your parents into thinking that you're not wearing makeup. Um, if you don't like the natural look, you're not gonna like this, but if you're just down to try out some new cute products, I would definitely try it. It's really fun and I really like the makeup look. Yeah, I'm very pleased by this. So let me know if Beauty Guru Haley should come on the channel more. I kind of like accidentally put three Beauty Guru videos up kind of right next to each other because I had the milk makeup one and then I had the prom one and now I have this one. And milk makeup saw my video and they want to like send me more products. So we might have to do another one of these. I don't know. Let me know if you want that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can subscribe if you wanna, I guess. And I will uh, see you next Next time. Oh, also follow me on Instagram. Haha, <laughs> Claude Gang. Okay, bye. Oh,
kind as to fall in love with me. You see, I'm trying. I know you know that I like you, but that's not enough.